Hands up if you've ever been the person who filled your fresh water tank in your motorhome only to discover that you hadn't shut the dump valve and it was all gushing out the underneath. I know I definitely have. If you have not been using your van much, either over winter or because it's been stood for a while, here are some important things that you need to do before your next trip out on the road. Hi, welcome back to Wandering Bird and if you're new here, welcome. I'm Kat. I quit my job to go touring around the UK and Europe in a motorhome and here I share all the tips and tricks that I've learned and I'm still learning along the way. Now if you laid up your motorhome or camper van for winter and you've not been using it much recently, there are a few jobs that you need to do before your next trip out, including a couple that I forget. Not just the dump valve, there's actually a worse one, but I will get to them very shortly. Now you can get all of this information on a free checklist. I will leave the link in the notes, but here are some of the most important things to remember. Firstly, if you left any chemicals in your freshwater tank or any tank indeed, make sure that you have drained that tank down properly and I would flush it through with some fresh water, certainly in your freshwater tank, before you drink any water from that. Make sure you reconnect any gas bottles that you've disconnected and also make sure you reconnect any batteries if you disconnected them over winter. This is also a really good time to check that your batteries are still charging properly if you didn't remove them over the winter, so make sure that they're charging and indeed discharging so that you can use them whilst you're out and about. Go through your van and check for any curtains and furnishings for mould or mildew. And also, now is the time to go through any tinned goods or packaged goods that you left on board food-wise and make sure that you check any dates for those and throw out anything that is now out of date. Now, if you have emptied your van for the winter and shut it all down, now's a really good time to give it a spring clean before you put a load of stuff back into it. So you wanna wipe all your surfaces down with some disinfectant. If you've got lacquered lockers or cupboards, make sure you use something gentle and appropriate for that, otherwise you'll take all that nice, pretty shine off. Now's also a good time to clean out the hob, the oven, the microwave, make sure you put it all back and store it all properly so it doesn't rattle when you are driving. And I also like to give the bathroom a bit of a going over as well. It's amazing how much dust and stuff can accumulate over the winter even when you've not been using the van. No, if you use Solbio toilet cleaner or another product that works off good bacteria, do not use a normal antibacterial spray because you'll kill all that good bacteria that's building up in your toilet cassette. Talking of toilet cassettes, do not forget to put your toilet cassette back into the slot in your van if you had removed it for the winter. You are welcome. You don't want to forget that one. That would be gross. Now might also be a good time to deep clean any carpets or seat cushions. You're gonna to want to do this at least 24 hours before you want to use the van to give it time to dry. On the outside, go around, check that all your tires are okay, uh, all your wing mirror covers or anything that you've got on there. And also another job that a lot of people forget, if you have used exterior vent covers, make sure you take them off again. Don't forget you can grab this as a free checklist. I know loads of people have printed it off and keep it in their van. I'll leave the link in the notes below. If you want to see more videos about motorhoming and van life, feel free to subscribe. I've got loads of little tips like this to share with you over the next few months. So subscribe to make sure you don't miss any of them. And if you want to know more about planning a road trip and getting the most out of your time on the road, this is the video to watch next. All right, I'll see you soon. Take care, bye.